Hey y'all, Clara Light Angels Podcast here. I'm Clara. I'm Angeline. I'm Lottie. Today we're here with Parasontis. This is Angeline's clever little build. Oh my goodness, y'all. The client was a scientist couple. And they do paranormal research. And they have a little child. So they had, you know, a very tiny space on a very tiny lot. I think the tiniest that you could ever purchase. Oh, that's cute. It's in that little trailer park. It is. And there's a place for them to work from home. And they're also paranoid. So para, para, para. You know what I mean? Oh, my goodness. Yep. So it all makes sense once you see it all out. But does it? You know? Well, it doesn't make (laughs) sense to me, but it does make sense to them. You know Uh what I mean? And they love aliens, so. That's sort of like. Well, they don't actually love aliens. They're scared of them. But uh, it's hard to even explain. Paranoia. It's a very real thing. Raw. It's like a mental disorder a little bit, but like not. Yeah, but I think for every disorder, there's also a benefit. So it's like real interesting. Because of their paranoia, they have this satellite that they use to try and keep aliens from abducting people. I want to say it's like an anxiety, but probably for a reason. You know. You know. So I don't really think, I don't think disorder is the word I'm looking for, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I love that. I'm going to call it a cactus cage. Yeah. Girl. A cactus cage. That's a good term for it. He said to me. I want a very secure place that I can work a lab outside. Every home should have one. <laughs> a cactus cage. A cactus cage. Aww. Aww. Now, there's a little gaming system. So, do they game? Yes, they do, as a family. How cute. Now, what is this family? You said two scientist parents. It's two parents who, you'll see their beds. They're little pods. Little science pods or oh, something. really? Yeah. yeah. Like dream pods. You know what those <gasps> look like? Loafers. They, they do. do. They look like a giant's loafers. That's what they're sleeping in. And then here's their son's room, and he just sort of sleeps on the upstairs room. That's like, cute. How they cute. were like, he doesn't need his own room until so he's a teenager. They weren't super planning for him. Well, Me that's the guess. thing. They were not super planning for him, but he was a blessing. Well, that's what it is, a blessing. You know, so he was a surprise blessing, and he's just part of their life, you know? And then they sleep in these little escape pods. I think it's so funny. I can only see shoes now. Why do I call them escape pods? <laughs> They're dream pods, right? Yeah, dream pod, sleep pod. I don't know what it is. They were like, we already have <laughs> the place where we're going to sleep, and we've already tricked them out. And I was like, what? Tricked them out? And I thought it was going to be like an elaborate bed or something, like a massage bed or something, but no, it was like these little pods that they like cleaned off of glass cleaner. I don't even know. I was sleeping in one of those. I'll make sure my child had one. You know what I mean? Can children go in those? I I don't don't know. know. But I mean, you're in like a glass containment chamber. I think the child is claustrophobic. I know. If the apocalypse happens. I know, right? Your child's out there in a normal bed. Well, I would guess that the two would go into the one and then they'd put the child in the other escape pod. But I don't even know what it's for. I really don't. I think it's for dreaming. Like sensory deprivation or something. I thought that had to do with water. I know. I don't know. Maybe they sleep in water. We don't know. I'm going to have to ask Ronan. He knew them because he works with them. Yeah, he's a scientist. Yeah, yeah. It's such an intriguing place full of machinery everywhere. And also a big scary skeleton. Like, they were very much like, you put this here. I was like, all right. I mean, that seems something like voodoo. Doesn't it? Right. Sometimes I think science and magic are holding hands. That's true. You know? And they just don't even know it sometimes, but they're holding hands. Or they're like cousins. You so know? they're related, but they're like, leave me alone. Yeah, yeah. Aww. Saw it off. Give me Y'all have that cousin, right? Everyone's got that cousin. <laughs> they got someone in their family, Ron. Ron, that's so true. So this is like a little place where they can work and have their controls to their drone they send out in the neighborhood. And that's the pod. It's actually like <gasps> floating off the ground. Girl. I oh, know. Crazy that oh, you worked with all this I was like, am I going to go bald when I get home from hanging out around this pod? Girl, no. They assured me I would not. She's but... got a full head of hair, y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining us. Thank you. <laughs>